Just because your phased array instrument has V, W, S, and TCG icons at the top of the screen doesn't mean that you have to light them all up. And as far as S for sensitivity goes, here's why you can probably skip it. Here we're talking about weld inspections, and in most cases, it's pointless to perform a sensitivity cal if you're already going to be doing a TCG. The true purpose of a sensitivity calibration is to equalize the responses across all of the focal laws at a specific distance. For a sectorial scan, the sensitivity cal is essentially an angle corrected gain. Now, my friend and yours, Ed Ginzel, recently provided some background information on the sensitivity calibration on a post on NDT.net. Now this from Ed, referring to a definition from the late Dr. Michael Moles, a phased array sensitivity calibration is defined as the compensation for the variation in signal amplitudes received from a constant sound path during S scan calibration. Underscore that constant sound path here. Ed goes on to point out, the constant sound path condition is only valid for a radius, making the calibration block number one the appropriate block for this function. For some unknown reason, someone decided that the same thing can be accomplished with a side drilled hole. However, side drilled hole does not provide the constant sound path, so the function is no longer a true angle corrected gain, but is in fact the same process as a single point TCG. Let's do an exercise to visualize the effect of a sensitivity calibration on a single side drilled hole. We'll use a Vermont NDT 5 MHz 32 element type 31 probe on a 55 degree wedge. And for the block, I'll use this ERVT piping calibration block from PH Tool. The ERVT block meets the alternate piping block requirements in figure T434.3-2 and has six steps covering you for pipe thicknesses from 0.2 of an inch all the way up to two inches all in one block. For this example, we'll use the three quarter inch step and I'll run the sensitivity calibration on the second leg or the one and a half T hole. Other than lighting up the little S on the top of the screen to see the result of what that sensitivity cal did, we have to go into the UT settings beam menu and scroll through the angles. The sensitivity cal has produced a gain offset for each focal law. And if you noticed when we did the sensitivity cal, there's a little bump right here at 46 degrees. That's the angle with the most sound energy at that sound path distance, so it gets a gain offset of zero. Every other focal law gets a little bit of a bump. After the calibration, that reference dB in the upper left-hand corner, that's actually true only at that 46 degree angle in our example. To get the actual reference dB at the other focal laws, you'd have to go in and add the gain offset for each different one, but we don't usually think of it that way. Now, if we were to chart the results of the sensitivity cal in a kind of nifty little 3D model, this is what it would look like. It added a gain offset to the A scans for each focal law, regardless of sound path position, beginning right at the entry surface. Let's erase all that, start over again, and just do a TCG. Now, the TCG equalizes the responses across all the focal laws and all the sound path distances that we're using in the inspection. If we make a TCG on the first, second, and third legs, or the half T, one and a half T, and two and a half T holes, then scroll through all the angles afterwards, we see the points for the three holes and the curves. We can go to the manage points tabs in the calibration menu and find all those TCG values. On a fancy 3D plot, it would look like this. That was the TCG by itself, but what if you do the sensitivity first and then you do the TCG? Does that make a difference? Does it make you more sensitive? No, all it does is produce one layer of compensation first and then build upon that with the subsequent TCG after. The TCG effectively sits on top or overrides the sensitivity calibration, resulting in the same amount of gain at each point than if you'd just done the TCG alone and skipped the sensitivity. If you do a sensitivity cal first, and you do it on one of the holes or the notches that you're gonna use for your TCG, it just means when you do the TCG, that point's already done. For applications like weld inspection, performing a sensitivity calibration on a hole or a notch before a TCG is essentially pointless. If you pick your points right, you should have no problem skipping right past the sensitivity cal and just doing the TCG. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and thanks for watching.